Hello, Grus Gott. Today we're going to check the compression on this 1997 Toyota 2.7 liter engine. It's got about 170,000 miles on it, so we just want to see what the general health is of the engine, so we're going to do that. So, to do it, I'm going to take out the electronic fuel injection relay that's over here in the relay box. I'm going to disconnect all of these wires that go in here to the ignition coils. Um, I'm going to remove this piece here. I'm going to take out all the rubber boots for the plug, spark plug wires. And then we'll take only one plug out at a time and we'll check the compression of each cylinder. The engine's warm. We ran it earlier. It's been sitting for about an hour and a half, so it's cooled down enough to where we can touch it. So um, we're going to remove these parts and we'll be right back. Okay, at this point, we have pulled the electronic fuel injection relay out. We're also going to hold down the accelerator pedal all the way while we check the compression. We've pulled this spark plug out. I have the adapter all set up to go in. This just barely gets, just barely snug. You don't tighten it up because you don't want to damage the threads or break it off in there or anything. So I'm going to screw that in. Also note here, I've got the wiring loose for the ignition coil packs. And everything else has been taken out, ready to go. So we'll, we're going to hook this up and we'll be right back. Okay, at this point we've hooked up our compression apparatus, so we're going to do the compression check starting with cylinder one here. I got one, two, three, four listed. I'm going to write down the uh, biggest value I get. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get inside the truck, hold the accelerator pedal all the way down, crank it for five seconds, and see what kind of value we come up with. So we'll do that and we'll be right back. Okay, on this cylinder we got 120. We did it twice. Second time we actually got 118. So we went ahead and released it. I pulled this off. We're going to move to the next plug. We're going to put the first plug back in though. So we're going to do that and move to the next plug. We'll be right back. Okay, we just finished the second cylinder. It came out at 120 also. These are a dry test. I'm not putting any oil down in there. I just want to see just the general health of the engine after 170,000 miles. So I'm going to move to the next uh, cylinder, number three, and then I'll do number four, and I'll come back and let you know what all the results were. Okay, so we finished the compression check. We got 120, 120, 126, 130. It's like the front two cylinders are just a slight bit low. Um, I don't know what that means. I'll have to go do some research, but I don't think there's anything particularly wrong. The engine seems to run well. It's pretty strong. It's got a lot of miles on it, so you know I wouldn't expect it to be like brand new by any means. So we reinstalled the uh, electrical connections to the ignition coils, put everything back in, routed all the wires correctly, reinstalled the EFI um, relay, and we're going to put all this back together, and then we're going to take it out for a drive, and it should run just fine. So thank you for watching.